Hi everyone, this is Darshan S. Gowda and I am currently pursuing my second year engineering at JSSSTU Mysore. Next in line in our ongoing study less score more series is the physics part of it and uh, the chemistry and mathematics part under uh, study less score more series has already been uploaded. If you haven't watched it yet then please make sure that you watch it uh, after you watch this video because the links have been given in the description and without much delay let's start this video guys uh, going through the high weighted chapters in your physics part first and foremost chapter when it comes to your physics which you should keep in mind when uh, particularly when you are studying for exams like KCET is electrostatics I have been telling this in all my videos regarding physics that electrostatics is certainly the most important chapter out there when we go through the weightage which electrostatics has got in the previous year's uh, KCET examination. What if I tell you that there were up to 9 questions from electrostatics in KCET 2019. This is very nice right if you study a unit you will be able to uh, grab around 9 marks that to uh, taking the example of KCET 2019. This is really good and uh, you shouldn't take it as a disadvantage but you should be understanding the fact that this is an advantage if you exploit it correctly. This is an advantage if you uh, get a great hold on your electrostatics and if you just solve certain uh, exercise questions which is present in the textbook and if you just go through certain PYQs and if the formulas are ready at your fingertips, I don't think electrostatics will be a problem and even the questions if you just go through the questions which has appeared from this particular chapter, you will be able to understand that easy questions are being asked. And talking about the next part, it is kinematics. It includes both motion in 1D and motion in 2D, which is in your 11th part. I am sure that uh, most of you who are studying in your 12th will be finding it difficult to find time uh, to study 11th portions. But I will be coming up with a detailed video on how to uh, study the 11th portion or what to study in your 11th portion exactly, which will be useful to uh, get a lot of marks in your KCT examination very soon. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you are new to this particular community so that you don't miss out on uh, such videos which I'll be coming up in the coming future. And if you are done with kinematics, I mean, if you are done with motion in 1D and 2D, if you understand how to apply those formulas or how to develop that approach of solving a problem once you read it, then I am sure kinematics will be uh, done. Then comes the system of particles and rotational motion or the rigid body dynamics or uh, the uh, arena of rotational motion wherein you will be studying a lot of things about rotation, moment of inertia and many things like that. And again here you should be uh, knowing uh, the formula for uh, moment of inertia of certain standard bodies and through that you will be able to solve some questions which will be related to proportionality. And then other uh, formulas including conservation of angular momentum and many things uh, which revolve around rotation carry a lot of weightage again in a KCET and you can expect at least two to three or uh, in the worst case you can expect at least two questions from this particular unit. So make sure that you are thorough with it. And then uh, current electricity. Current electricity is an easy chapter and it comes as a complimentary gift if you study electrostatics really well. Uh, trust me guys this has worked out for me and uh, it has worked out for a lot of students who consulted me regarding current electricity uh, during KCT 2023 too. If you understand uh, about charges in rest in a right way or in a complete way then obviously it is understood that you will find charges in motion. You will find uh, the study of charges in motion which has got a tag of current electricity really easy and this has uh, worked out for me. So uh, when you are studying electrostatics keep this in mind and that will again give you a certain amount of motivation to uh, do uh, electrostatics in a thorough manner. Magnetism and electromagnetic induction. This comes as a complementary gift again if you understand current electricity well. So everything is linked so your sequence also should be uh, really uh, systematic when you go about studying these units. Modern physics is a unit altogether wherein you will be able to score a lot of marks by understanding certain relations. Yes guys if you are someone who uh, has gone through the questions which come from modern physics you will be able to relate to this. There will be a lot of questions which will be depending upon the proportionality or uh, what is proportional to r square or what is proportional to 1 by r square or 1 by r to the power 4. So you will be playing around this proportionality itself which will uh, give you a lot of marks again and what if I tell you that modern physics has been allocated around uh, 4 to 5 marks consistently in the previous 10 years of your KCT examination. So uh, this is an easy unit to tackle and I am sure you people will keep this in mind while you are preparing modern physics in order to give an extra focus for it. And in the end uh, when we are summing up the high weighted chapters 
uh, semiconductors enters this high weightage block cause around four to five questions are being asked continuously when it comes to your semiconductors electronics unit next talking about the moderate weightage chapters first in line in your moderate weightage chapters is work power energy and newton's laws of motion which again come under your 11th part and uh, next comes fluid mechanics and solids so you'll be able to see these in form of mechanical properties of solids and mechanical properties of fluids in your ncrt textbook so go through it correctly and uh, moderate weightage chapters in an average contain or comprise around two to three questions in your kct examination or at least uh, two questions in your kct examination ac is again uh, the continuation of your ongoing series of that electrostatics electrodynamics uh, or current electricity and then uh, magnetism and alternating current is again a new arena wherein you will be studying about the properties of alternating current and to understand alternating current better you should be knowing direct current concepts better and uh, next comes oscillations and waves these are certain chapters which even i found uncomfortable and i'm sure many of you out there will be finding this too so uh, what i did was i just went through the previous year questions to be honest when it comes to oscillations and waves because i wasn't in a position to go through each and every uh, formula in it or each and every concept in it but now since you guys have a lot of time left for your kct examination please consider uh, trying to study these oscillations and waves uh, once before you complete your syllabus. It is dual nature of matter and radiation. This is again an easy unit to cover which majorly involves photoelectric effect and if you understand photoelectric effect better then this chapter again will be a smooth sail for you and I'm sure you'll be able to grab that two questions which come from this particular chapter. Uh, by solving it very quickly and very uh, precisely and and in the end optics comes to play when it when we talk about moderate weightage chapters and uh, it includes both wave optics and ray optics which are given as separate chapters in your uh, class 12th physics ncrt you can just go through it and you can refer uh, certain youtube channels too for uh, if you want a better understanding of this optics unit and talking about the low weightage chapters out here First one is gravitation. Gravitation is often referred to as the twin of electrostatics, but uh, the weightage isn't or uh, the analysis or weightage analysis of previous 10 years KCET papers don't uh, prove the fact that both of them are twins because gravitation relatively has a less weightage and it comes under your 11th part. And please go through it once. Then comes your thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases. Even though very less questions come from this particular chapter, the level of difficulty will be easy and everybody will be solving it which again uh, determines your rank indirectly and for the, that reason at least you should be preparing this chapter and you should be able to solve the questions which most probably will be coming from the dimensional formula analysis so that is one thing which you should keep in mind and then electromagnetic waves is again a small unit but uh, it carries a less weightage but as i have been telling in my previous videos about low weightage chapters it's not that you should completely leave them out you should be considering these chapters while you are preparing but uh, there should be a difference in the time you will which you'll be allocating for these particular units because uh, at least one questions come from these units that is the reason why they are there in the syllabus and that should tell you that you should study them but uh, there should be a difference in the time which you give for these chapters compared to the high weightage chapters your atoms and nuclei is there wherein you will be talking about radioactivity and structure of an atom structure of an nuclei and what is happening inside nucleus and nuclear fission reaction nuclear fusion reaction these are concepts which are mostly in the theoretical part and i'm sure you'll be able to cover up these in a very less time so make sure that you cover these chapters too and all the remaining chapters come under low weightage uh, chapters itself in your physics syllabus and this completes our exciting study less score more series wherein we talked about the weightage wise uh, allocation of time or the weightage wise classification of your chapters in your uh, physics chemistry and mathematics and if you are someone who has watched all the three videos under this series and understood the uh, weightage which individual units carry i'm sure now you'll be having a clear picture of how to study and what to study and uh, what to stress more upon and things like this and this will be experienced by people who have watched these videos till the end or watch these videos with a lot of uh, focus and if you are someone who has watched these videos with the same attention with the same focus and if you were able to grab something informative out of it then make sure that you put it in the comment section so that even i'll be able to uh, 
get to know that there is something informative which i am providing the kct 2024 aspirants out there and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button because that will help this video to reach a lot of kct aspirants out there and consider sharing this uh, videos which come under study less score more series so that your friends also will be getting aware of the fact that they need not study everything with the same focus or with the same attention so that even they'll be able to work smart rather than hard and if you have any doubts about your kct preparation or your uh, engineering life or anything for that reason please put it in the comment section so that i will be able to go through them uh, individually and i'll be able to think of what can be done regarding them in the coming future so join our telegram group which is exclusively there for kct 2024 aspirants for which the link has been given in the description so please check it out once after you watch this video and uh, thank you for watching this video till the end guys we'll be coming up with more videos about kct preparation so and if you need any particular videos on particular topics to be precise then make sure that you put it in the comment section again so that i'll be able to come up with those videos in the coming future with that note uh, this is Darshan Skoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.